Welcome. In this video, we're going to be talking about how to use Qt signals and slots inside of a template. With that being said, this is not a tutorial on what a template is or how templates work. I'm assuming that you already know what a template is. So let's get started. So we have a simple application here. It's a simple widget that has two buttons, a clear list button and an add item button. And then we have a little label that is that has no text in it right above them. And so the purpose of this tutorial is that I'm going to show you, we're going to create a list. And as we add items to that list, we would like there to be a signal that is emitted that indicates that an item has been added to the list. And that signal will be heard by a, a function that will update the text in this label that sh currently has no text in it. And then the clear list will be a button that we click and it will go and call a function in our list to clear all the elements in that list. Okay, so we have the main file. In the main file, of course, we just create the application, create the UI widget, and then we show it. So we don't need this file anymore. In here, we have the header file of our UI, include the main window, we include the UI, and we include the queue list because we're going to be starting by creating a queue list. And of course, we inherit from queue main window, you know, regular stuff. Here we have the GUI um, variable, and then we have the list of items, which we're going to say it just holds a bunch of strings. We have the constructor, and then we have three slots. In the first slot, we're going to listen for when an item, uh, with, when the add item button is clicked on the GUI. The second slot will be when this is the one that we will try to define, which is when we add an item to the list, this is the function that will be called. And then we will do another one for when the, I, the item list is clear, then this um, function will be called to show a feedback message on the GUI saying that the list has been cleared. In the CPP file, we have the constructor where we initialize the M items. We also set up the UI. And then we do a, a queue object connection where the add item button is clicked. We would like to go to the on add item click function, which simply adds the string hello world to our item list. And then we have the on add item, which is what's going to be listening for the added item signal from our list object, which would just show an, a little message saying an item was added. And when the whole list is clear, we'll have a little a string that says the list is clear. Now we have three to-dos. For one is when we have when we click on the clear list button in the GUI, the one we have, uh, let me just show it. When we click on the clear list button, this on the left, what we want to do is we want to call the clear function inside of our list. And then I want to listen for when an item is added in the list for this second to do so that we can call this second function, the second slot. And the last one is I want to connect a, a function, this slot at the bottom on clear for when the clear func uh, for whenever all the items in the item list are clear. So to do that, I'm going to replace this queue list, queue string, m items variable, and we're going to create our own list that actually has signals and slots. Queue list does not inherit from queue object. Queue list has no slots, has no signal, so there is nothing in that. So we're going to create our own. So for that, I created a, fi a file, a header file called list.h, which we're going to use to create this quick and simple list. So I am going to need to include the queue object class of course and I will also right away include the queue list. We're going to use the queue list within our template in order to ensure that we have all the list functions. We don't have to redefine all, all of these things for this example. So now I will create the template which is type name T and then we have a class and the class is going to be called list. Now at first I'm just going to uh, demonstrate the error. So here we have the, the, the template list that we want to create. And of course, this will have in private, we will have a list, a queue list of the type T with, uh, I'm going to call it M items. And then we'll have the constructor and we will have the destructor. And lastly, I want to have an append item function, which will append an item to our item list that we have in here. So for this case, it will be M items that append item. And then uh, we want to use signals, right? We said we want to use a signal for whenever the, the an item is added. So let's say emitted when an item is added to the list. So here we're going to have void 
item added. Oh, let's, yeah, item added. And then here, after we append it, we will emit the function item added. Now, if we try to run this, oh yes, yes, I would like to stop debugging. If we try to, if we compile this and try to run this, we will get a very nice error that says template classes not supported by QObject. And I'm assuming this is why you're here. So in order to fix this, we have to create another class. We have to make another class that defines the signals and slots and then inherit in here in our template. So we do not have to directly use QObject. So right above this, we're going to create a class and I'm going to also call it list and I'm going to call it list SS for signals and slots. And this one will inherit from QObject as well. And of course we will have uh, signals and the kind of signals we want is we want to avoid item added, which is this one that we have here. I'm just actually going to cut this from there, paste it here. And this is a QObject. Oops. And this is a QObject and that's it. So now I do not need to define QObject macro here. So I'm going to delete this and then take this away. And then this will inherit from list SS. And now if you try to compile this, it would compile. So now you can emit this, this signal within the template. Now that we have this list created, let's go and replace this list that we have created uh, let's replace the queue list that we had in our UI file with the list. So I'm going to delete include list and instead I'm going to include my list file and I will change this to list. Oh, yeah. And so now, uh, now that I have this, I will come over here and it's the same list. And now, of course, instead of append, we called it append item. So this would change to append item. And now we're going to listen to the signal that we have created. So I will say queue object connect. What do we want to connect? The M items to the list SS. You have to use the list SS to the uh, item added function to this and on added item. And of course I did that wrong. This should be signal slot template on added item. So now Theoretically, once we clicked on this button, add item button, an item will be added. This will call this function, which will append the item. And then it will emit an item was added, which will then be heard by this slot and display this message. So let's check it out. And there it is. We have an item was added. Okay, so far so good. But what if you wanted to pass the item that you added within the signal? Well, unfortunately, that cannot be done because we do not know what the type of this template is going to be until it's defined. So we can't put, you know, anything here. We don't know what this T type is going to be. However, you can work around that by using some form of temp, uh, some form of placeholder. So I can say M placeholder. And then when I add the item, I can save the item into my placeholder. And then I can add another function that returns the placeholder. M placeholder. And then on our slot that we want to listen for this change is we can, I can change the, the, the text to be slightly different to be something like this. And uh, added item. And then let's say this is one arg and let's just say that for my items I want to get the placeholder oops make sure that you put that text here and now that you have this in a way you were able to pass a parameter by of course using some kind of placeholder that's not very nice but uh, it's really the, the only way at least that I know of but I, I cannot imagine of any way that we could do that since we do not have a way to pass this kinds of parameters through the signals as we don't know what the type of this uh, template is going to be. Okay, so we have talked about how to use these signals inside the template. What about slots? So let me define one more signal before we go to the slots. Emit it when the item list is clear. And it's going to be void clear. And then I will define a slot. And this slot is going to be uh, it's going to cr make sure that the whole list is clear. However, let me just put this clears the list. 
issue with this is that we do not have the list here. The list is in the next class, so we couldn't do that. So actually, this is going to be a virtual function. And you have to spell virtual properly, otherwise it don't work. And then uh, down here, I'm going to define that, so it's going to be clear, override. And what this is going to do is it's going to clear that, and it's going to emit the signal clear, cleared. All right. And then over here, well, we can remove this to do since we have done it, and we will do this right now. Is we're going to connect, and we are going to connect to what? We're going to connect the M items. Actually, no, the GUI clear list button. It's signal for when it's clicked, and we're going to connect it to the M items. And this is going to go to signal. No, this is going to be list SS, and this is going to be clear. Okay, and oh yeah, yeah. I'm like, why did it do that? And then, so this will do when you click on the clear list button. We are going to call the clear function, and then I want to hear to this clear uh, signal. So let's do that connection, connect, and we want the M, M items. Look at those, all those messages. All right, when the clear, we're going to connect to this signal slot templates to the onclear function, and this should be capitalized. So it will. So whenever this signal is emitted, this function will be called, and instead we'll have the list is cleared. So let's run this. Oh, it's already running. We have to rerun it. So now when we hit add item, we get hello world, and you know I didn't change the message, so it just keeps saying hello world. When I do clear list, then it does the list is cleared. All right. La one last thing before we wrap up is that. You don't necessarily have to define your slots. It depends on what kind of queue object connection you're using. However, let's say that I remove this, and down here we no longer override. Notice that well, this will no longer work because there is no more clear function. And if we try to run this, this will break. Uh, however, we can change this by simply saying list, and then we will have to put the type. Uh, that this template is taking in and now it's perfectly fine we can run it so as you can see uh, you don't have to define necessarily your slots in this list SS and this is because we're using this standard for the Q object connection if we wanted to use the other method where we use the signal and slot macros instead then if I comment this out then this will no longer work so let's run this again However, if we return this to our old style, where we have a virtual void, void clear function, and we just overwrite this, you will realize that using this signal and slot, the old mechanism, um, that this will work. Well, I hope you found this video useful. If you run into a problem or have a question, don't hesitate and leave a comment below. Uh, if you like these kinds of videos, check out the channel and subscribe if you want more. And if you don't mind, leave a like for this video. Uh, see you guys in the next video. Peace out.